I'm Sam from Sound on Sound. I'm here at the AES show in Los Angeles with Tony Caridi of Avid. Hey there. Hello, Tony. Um, Tony's going to show us some of the new features in Pro Tools 12.6. Yeah, so t great big news. Uh, we just uh, we just made available 12.6 yesterday, the uh, day before the AES show started. So uh, everyone who has the uh, has, has a plan, they, all of their, uh, their systems, it's, it's in their accounts, so they can just download it and install it right away. Um, so what 12.6 brings is a whole slew of functionality that improves um, editing in general and kind of the, kind of the pre-mix stage. So in Pro Tools 12.6, the Clip Effects Editor is right in the edit window and you can access it uh, right by clicking in the top right of the edit window there. And as I said, it's not global to the track, it's, it's specific to the individual clip. So as you can see, if you select the clips, you can see there's some processing, um, individual processing that's um, already in here. Um, what we can do as well is, what's really nice is you can, we can lasso a couple different uh, clips together and apply, let's say, some um, you know, some other processing. In this case, maybe we'll just do a, like a high pass filter, um, like so. And um, now, you know, as you can see, when we have check out the settings as it applies to these different clips, it leaves, the, it leaves all the parameters that, um, that weren't uh, uh, updated, but it kind of just, you know, updates the parameters across all of those clips that, that we just... Uh, that we just changed. Um, so really nice. Um, as far as the, the layered editing goes, you can turn that function off right up here in the, uh, in the edit window. And when you combine this functionality with something that came in a release just a few months ago, which is the clip transparency, um, where you can really use um, the waveforms to eyeball you know, a sync point using a transient, um, and then kind of be able to move things back and forth. Now previously, if, I'd, if you'd tried to do this, the underlying uh, clip that was overlapped would, you know, you would have created an edit uh, when you moved it back. But now um, you can kind of move things around without you know, impacting any of the underlying edits. Uh, something else we've added is the an option where if you happen to cover up a clip entirely, you'll see the boundaries light up with this uh, blue highlight to let you know that you're now going to be completely blowing over this clip. Um, when I let go, you'll see there's a quick little arrow that pops on the screen. It has automatically thrown that clip uh, into a brand new playlist for us. Uh, and that's a really nice feature if you want to, you know, have access to any of the stuff you may have covered up. Um, along with this place, place functionality, um, we've also added this indicator here right next to the track name where uh, a little flag go, uh, lights up in blue to indicate there are, in fact, more than one playlist. Uh, there are more playlists underneath the one that we're seeing. So um, it's a good you know, indicator for somebody that's you know, getting a session, maybe they're not as familiar with, they're trying to acclimate. Um, it's, a, it's a flag to say, hey, there's more material under here uh, for you to check out. Um, there's also some really nice commands um, where you can, just using the shift and up and down arrow keys, you can switch between the different playlists on the track. So if you want to cycle through some of the takes you've just done, uh, it makes it really easy to do that. Um, so a lot of, lot of great goodies here. There's also a new freeze functionality, um, which can act uh, globally, or it can, um, you can freeze just particular elements of your mix. So just the audio tracks, or probably most commonly just the instrument tracks. Um, also an indicator here for the task manager to let you know if you're doing some uh, collaboration, if you have some uh, media that's still uploading or downloading, it'll it'll let you know with an indicator there. Um, you know, and overall, a lot of uh, stability improvements in addition. And there are also changes to the way Pro Tools is being sold, is that correct? Definitely, yeah. So we're selling, uh, so the Pro Tools HD software for the very first time is now available as a standalone purchase, a standalone app, uh, unbundled from the Pro Tools HDX and HD native systems. Uh, so that's available either as a perpetual license, so you can buy it outright, or you can subscribe on an annual basis, um, which is great for maybe a small company that needs to ramp up production for a certain job. They can just kind of rent it for the year uh, and not have the kind of overhead OPEX of our capital expenditure, rather, to uh, you know, buying all of this stuff. Fantastic. So for those of us who don't have a subscription plan already and we wish to buy a perpetual license, how much can we expect to pay? Uh, for Pro Tools HD? Yeah, or and HD and native. 
Uh, so pro regular Pro Tools is still uh, $5.99 US. Uh, so you can buy that outright. That comes with it a full year of upgrades included. Uh, then at that point, you can renew your upgrades for another year for only $99. Um, if you rather just do it whenever you want to, you don't want to get on a plan, uh, you can upgrade at any point for $299. Uh, you pay a little bit extra, but you, you have the little bit of flexibility to wait to do when you want. Um, if you want to just kind of rent the software, you can uh, get a pure license subscription for only uh, $29.99 US a month or $299 for the year. And of course, if you're a student, it's only like $9.99 a month to subscribe, or you can buy it for $299. And how about HD? So for HD, it's $24.99 to buy perpetual license. Again, that comes with a full year of upgrades included. Uh, to renew those upgrades at the end of the year, it's $299, sorry, $399 uh, to get another full year of upgrades. If you decide you don't want to go on that plan, you just want to upgrade whenever you feel like it, you can wait as long as you'd like if you want to have that flexibility, uh, but the price is uh, at $999 um, if you are out of a plan. Fantastic. Oh yeah, and then if you want to uh, subscribe to Pro Tools HD for the year, it's $999. Wonderful. Yeah. Thanks very much, Tony. My pleasure, thanks for having us. Great.